Hey guys and girls, my name's Dan, welcome back to The Forge. In this episode of Trust Me, I'm a Blacksmith, we're gonna be making some titanium tongs out of this piece of titanium here. This was gifted to me by a lovely gentleman called Brian. Uh, in the link in the description, there is a little video that I'd like you to go and watch. Uh, it was where Brian came down and did a course here, did some one-to-ones with me, uh, but we also made him a hammer, and it was also edited by a third party. So go and check that video out and let me know what you think. Right, first thing we need to do is we need to draw this titanium into some usable stock. Okay, just quickly, um, the stuff forges lovely. Titanium, uh, when it's very hot, forges very nicely. It can get very hot, I think you can get up to 3000 degrees Celsius, um, that'll be up in America somewhere. Um, and the way it is actually ma manufactured is through repetitive series of pressing. So it, it can look quite granular, um, which this one does, it does look very granular, but I'm pretty sure that there's nothing wrong with that Work it for longer. One of the properties of titanium is it gets very hot very quickly, but it also gets very cold very quickly. That would, um, would, I believe that's considered poor conductivity um, because it does cool very quickly. Oh. Well, I'm gonna chop it in half first, put it back in the fire. This is 20 square, uh, three quarters of an inch square, and uh, they're about eight inches long or 200 mil in length. So I'm gonna get this in the fire and start forging, uh, forging these into some tongs. Okay, so I marked the material up and I went to use this center punch to mark um, so I could see it after it was hot and I took the end off the center punch. And I'm not quite sure what I did here afterwards because I looked at it and then was like, what? It's not even... And it hadn't. All it had done was taken the chalk off. So in order to mark it up so I could see it when it's hot, I put a uh, cutting disc and I put an angle grinding mark in there.
Um, the weight of these is incredible. I, um, yeah, they, they don't, it's not even like you're holding anything, it's absurd. I mean, even these ones are heavier than these. Now, I want to make them look like a set of these. I made a couple of sets of these out in the States and they work really nicely. I've also made a few of these on the courses as I've been going along and um, they work quite well. Now, quick disclaimer, I have done a bit of grinding on here. I wasn't happy with the finish. Um, I don't actually know how to finish titanium all that well. Uh, I know you can get some really nice temper colors on it, which I'm gonna try and achieve at least anyway. But um, other than that, I'm not 100% sure about um, this, this creasing that's happening all the way up and down. And um, yeah, I've been a bit harsh with the forging process. I think it could have gone a bit softly, a bit, a bit softer. But overall forged finish, I'm quite pleased with. They've come out quite nicely and the punched hole worked quite well. I haven't got myself a rivet uh, made of titanium. So I'm gonna make one out of this M10 bolt, 10 mil bolt. Uh, just gonna chop it off there. I'm gonna rivet it in and then I'm gonna get some titanium to replace the rivet uh, in the future. But just now I'm just gonna leave it as it as a steel one. But Okay, I think earlier on in the video I mentioned uh, the poor conductivity of the steel. Um, I'll show you close up this in a second, but um, I've just got this bit hot here and some of this is going to be uh, heat that's come off of the um, heat that's come off of the, uh, the actual bar itself, but I'm basically on top of that now and I can touch that and it's not hot. So um, these rains don't get hot at all. Um, I noticed it first when I was in the fire and I was doing the rivet. I could put my hands almost next to the hot spot before my hands could feel the heat in the bar. Okay, so if this was steel, I can put my thumb here. I can put my thumb there, I'm pushing quite hard on that, and I can't feel the heat from there. If I go a bit closer, if I go to about here, I can start to feel the heat, but anything past that from about here. Okay, thank you for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I do appreciate everyone coming along and watching the videos. Uh, it really is 
Uh, it really is a pleasure to be able to create content that you guys and girls at home are enjoying. Um, why make a pair of titanium tongs though? No real reason other than the fact that um, I had some. But after making them, um, they forged lovely. Uh, it was a real pleasure to work with this material hot. Um, but as soon as it goes cold, it's hideous. Um, I don't know if I did or didn't put the video up of me using the center punch and completely blunting the center punch on them. Um, cold, just bunk, center punch blunt. So uh, yeah, and I don't remember it being that hard when I started. So I'm not sure whether or not the forging process or I may have dunked it in the water a couple of times when it was relatively hot. I don't know if you can heat treat. And also this granular structure that's in here, um, it's odd, and I want to know more about that. So there's some, there's some bits about this that I don't like, uh, but there are some bits that I do like, and these came out lovely. They're super light. They're even lighter than these. These are some tiny weeny little ones. They're exactly the same, basically, except from um, I made these out of steel. Um, but they're lighter than those, and they're bigger than those. Uh, obviously, you just saw the heat, um, weird low conductivity that titanium has. So yeah, um, and they're really tough. They're really tough. They're gonna they're gonna last a long time. I hope. I'm gonna have a play with these. I'm gonna use them. I'll keep you guys and girls in the loop about whether or not I like them. I'm trying super hard to get some content out. I've had a real sort of like writer's block. I don't know, um, creative block. I've had, uh, and I'm really really struggling to get content out. Um, ever since I got back from America, a few things have gone wrong. I've had a few issues, but I think I'm back on track. I'm gonna give it a really good push up until Christmas try and get a few videos out. I've got a little Viking hammer build um, which has been filmed, I just need to edit it. We've been working on the leg vice a bit more. Um, I will post some more footage or, or some footage of me making the big boy but with the uh, the straight peen style big boy. Um, I really like this, this is really nice. this was mine, this is the prototype uh, but there will be more of those to come. I'm just gonna plug some stuff now. Go over to the Etsy and go and check out um, the Etsy if you're looking for anything for projects uh, or tools. I've got um, some slightly smaller tongs. Normally I make quite beefy tongs. Normally I make tongs for myself that are like beefy like these ones, but I've been making some slightly smaller ones uh, and trying to do them so that I'm a bit more productive so I get more work done in a short space of time, ergo making the tools cheaper. And these are coming out at a reasonable price. I think they're quite competitive. So I've got the old flat bits there. Uh, I've got a nice set of um, these bolt jaw, um, Toby Hinkman-esque style bolt jaws. They came out lovely as well. And then there's some pickup tongs and some of the other tongs that you've already seen. Now, that's everything. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you are a subscriber, please ring that bell for notifications because it tells you every time I make a video. I'm trying really hard with videos at the minute. Um, Go down into the description, there's a link to the website, the Etsy, and the Instagram, all extra content. I do try to post more regular up on the Instagram, so sort of give you a feel and flavor of what's coming up in the future. I believe that's everything. Thank you for joining me. I'll leave a link up here to a random video. This will be a video of me making some tongs. This one here is a video that uh, YouTube thinks that you will like, and I guess that this will be the subscribe button. Bye-bye.